Are you ready for this answer? You know who has the longest winning streak in the NBA right now? The New York Knicks. The New York freaking Knicks. The Knicks won their seventh straight last night. Seven straight for the Knicks. The Knicks are at it again. And for years, when I would use that phrase, the Knicks are at it again, it meant completely whiffing on their targets in free agency or overspending on old, busted up, and broken down has-beens or never worse. Or having garden security get into it with Nick legends and Nick fans. Or generally, just them being a massive clown show. Not anymore. Have you seen the Knicks? Have you seen these Knicks? Have you really seen the Knicks? They beat the Hornets by 12 last night at the Garden, and they put on a show. In other words, it's not just that they're winning, it's how they're winning. They were down six at halftime, and then they absolutely locked Charlotte up in the second half. They gave up 33 in the first quarter, 33 in the second quarter, and 31 in the second half. Total. Thanks for coming. Now get the hell out of here. You too, Rit. Rit sitting there live tweeting about his team. Get the hell out of here with that. Miles Bridges has been absolutely laying waste. Two defenders lately, but the Knicks were not having any of that. Julius Randle continues to be a double-double machine. And he's got range. R.J. Barrett looking like he's finding his stride in the association. I mean, the man did go off for 18 in the third quarter alone last night. He outscored Charlotte all by himself in the third quarter. Not only do they have the longest winning streak in the NBA right now, it is the team's longest winning streak since 2014. You want to know how long ago that was? That was the mellow swish era. Remember that time swish hit an assistant coach with a bowl of soup? Anyway, all you haters can point out how soft the Knicks' schedule has been of late and how it's about to get much tougher, much tougher, including a nasty road trip at the start of next month. And who cares? Who cares? Why talk about that when you can talk about the fact that they actually have it good right now? You want to know how great things are right now for the Knicks? They're actually having to talk about taking it one day at a time. That's actually hilarious to me. They're so good. They need to take it one day at a time. You imagine we're actually concerned about the Knicks believing the hype. The Knicks getting caught up in winning. The Knicks getting caught up in the postseason. And it's legit. Getting lost in the sauce. Of course, the guy's totally right. But the fact that we're even talking about the Knicks going day by day means there's actually something to go day by day for. And that's a miracle unto itself. Because for years, there's been no reason to take it one day at a time. Because taking it one day at a time meant taking it one loss at a time. Taking it one day at a time means the Knicks are actually relevant. They matter. <laughs> yeah, I said it. The Knicks matter. Something that I did not think ever say again in this lifetime something I didn't think that my children would ever say in their lifetime but these dudes actually do matter they're not only legitimately looking at a playoff berth but actually in a battle for the home court that's actually a thing you tell me what's more ridiculous than that it's really ridiculous like the Knicks fans they're either always living way in the past or way into the future. They're either talking about the two titles they won nearly a half a century ago, or they're talking about all those close calls that they had 25 years ago. Or they're talking about how it's going to get so much better a few years from right now when they finally get their real guys in. Problem being... No one gives a damn about what happened 25 or 50 years ago. And all those guys who they think are coming to be their savior never actually do. Because none of them want anything to do with a garbage franchise. Or didn't want anything to do with that garbage franchise. Because even that might be changing. When was the last time anybody who mattered said anything close to that about them? It's like, dude, just slid into their DMs or something. Like, not only did he say it, he meant it. 
Not only did he mean it, he couldn't wait to tell you. He said it himself. I'm glad you asked that question. So, of course, Nick fans lost their minds with that. And they started looking at his contract details, figuring out how quickly can we get the big man in here? How quickly can we make Zion one of us? How quickly? How quickly? <laughs> they want to know. They want to know how quickly this guy can come in and they can start hanging banners. Hate to throw water on that, Nick fan, but it's not happening. No time soon. Not unless he pulls an AD and forces his way out of town. Just know this. He is signed with the Pelicans through 2023, and he's got a ton of financial reasons to stay in New Orleans for that second contract. I know you want this guy. I know you had this weird belief that he was destined to play for your team and that somehow you got jobbed in the lottery. And you can't figure out if David Stern iced the envelope for you so you could get Patrick Ewing, why couldn't the league have run that back and done it with Zion? Arr! Wasn't that amazing that Patrick Ewing ended up with the Knicks? How, how that happened, I have no idea. Anyway, listen. Bottom line is this. You may never get this guy, but the fact that this guy's openly talking about you the way he is is a championship in and of itself for you, Nick fan. So do as Tibbs does. Take it one day at a time. Know where your feet are. And know that for the first time in a long time, you actually matter. You just got the jungle treatment to open up the show. Except this time, it was positive jungle treatment. And I can't believe I did it. But you earned it. And that's what I've always been about. That's what this show has always been about. Yes, I have been going in on the Knicks for years. But you give me a reason to hype you up, and I'll do that too. Happy to do it. You earned it. Happy to do it, and I'm guaranteeing my guy Tibbs was happy to hear it. They look good, man. They look good. I like what I see. Seven in a row for the Knicks. Know where your feet are. You think that's funny? It's actually hilarious. Seven wins in a row.